there was this convergence towards the little bit of water that was left in Lake Masek. And it was initiated by a mother Egyptian goose, which led its two goslings towards the mud. This is what the entire lake has been reduced to. It's just a big mud puddle that has been kept open by this pot of hippo that wallow here and just eroding away the harder mud and keeping the pond liquid. A lot of little waders had colonized the smaller puddles that the cavorting hippos had left behind. And it was wonderful to see this morning ablution. A pair of stints were busy feeding in some of the shallower water nearby. and a black wing stilt. It's almost as if this animal is walking on straws. This is a classic little bath scene. This little three-banded plover really making the most of the water. Just cleaning itself up at the beginning of the day. A blacksmith lapwing. Every now and again there'd be a small flurry of action from the hippo pool. And it normally involved the dominant bull making sure that all the subjects were adhering to the plans that he had for them. A group of hyenas arrived loping along the mud flats behind the big puddle, and they had been scavenging among the carcasses of wildebeest that had got stuck in the mud. Every time they came near a carcass, they'd check in, maybe pick up some festering piece of meat that was left over, and continue on their way. The hippos seem content to just sit in this pool of stinking mud, I guess they had no choice. It's probably better to just wait for the rain, which really should be coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> 